BBR week number eight against John Jr. If you're excited for today's battle, make sure to like the video and subscribe. So this game is pretty big for the both of us. So if John Jr. wins, he makes playoffs. If he loses, he's out. And if I win, I get the third seed. And if I lose, I'm pretty sure I get the eighth seed. So big, big moments at stake here for both players coming into this game. If you have not seen the team builder yet, make sure to check that out in the top right hand corner. No face cam for today, it has been a crazy week coming back from vacation and just need a little bit of a low vibe today. So we're gonna go for a little more of a calmer vibe. I know D-Ray loves my, my calm and, and slow speed commentary. So <laughs> we're gonna go with that a little bit more today, but let's get right into the battle. All right, we get to see John Jr.'s team here and it looks to be pretty similar to what we expected. Okay. So let's take a thought and think about this matchup for a little bit. So I think the probably likely lead is Chiyu. Chiyu leads pretty well and pretty efficiently against a lot of my team. Um, one thing that's also really, really good here in this specific spot is um, I think I'm going to lead with the Iron Juggalus for this reason is it outspeeds everything on my opponent's team. I can put immediate pressure early on his team, depending on what he leads with. You know, he'd have to lead with the Scarfer to, to put the pressure on this. So I'm gonna do this and likely just click knockoff on turn one. I think is my most effective use of a turn. Uh, if he leads with something like Chiyu, for example, Diancy is really, really good at handling that on the defensive side. So that's my perspective coming in here with the lead and let's cook. Good luck to John. I know this is a really, really big game for him. Very, very big game for me as well, but once again, the stakes are are pretty effectively on his, you know, you know <laughs> the stakes are pretty big for him. Okay, so this is a really, really interesting spot actually that's gonna come up here and that this set is EV to kill any possible set of a Sloking Galar with knockoff plus Dark Pulse, just the way that, you know, that this has been calc and set up. So I'd have to take, you know, a, a decent amount from Sludge Bomb here to obviously do that. And I think there's a pretty decent chance he switches out anyway, but I'm just going to go for the knockoff here. There's not really much I have to lose from going for this play. And that's going to do a million damage here. Oh, it's going to be a crit. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. And he's going to have be Mirror Herb, which is interesting. And he's going to set up the Toxic Spikes. I think it's going to be pretty obvious that he switches out here. If I look at my team versus Toxic Spikes, the only thing that's really weak to it specifically is the Iron Hands. Everything else is Boots or Levitating, um, Dua Lipa style. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna click a button here uh, against my opponent's team. Uh, I could go for the knockoff again, given that I crit. Um, I think it's kind of likely that I have a chance to to kill this thing from here. I could also drop a Hurricane. Um, I think I'm just gonna Dark Pulse here. I don't think there's any reason to, to really put any risk here. Obviously he could, you know, I think he's gonna try to play around the secondary knockoff, uh, most importantly. So one Toxic Spike is gonna be pretty unfortunate, but as I said, in this battle, there's really only one Pokemon that's gonna be affected by that. And it's going to be, uh, he's gonna go to Zapdos here. Okay, I'm kind of happy now with how I played. Not going for the knock, going for knockoff here would obviously have been, you know, very, very nice. Uh, but Dark Pulse damage is going to be pretty decent on this thing, and it looks to be Heavy Duty Boots most likely here, as I'm just going to go straight into the into the Yuxi. Yuxi is really designed here to take all of my special, uh, take a lot of special attacks here. Obviously, it's got some application against the Annihilate, which we need to keep in mind for the mid game. Um, but we've really put Sloking Galar into a really, really tough position uh, to handle, you know, this matchup the rest of the way because of that knockoff. Obviously, the crit's really unfortunate. Um, for John there, but you know, Iron Juggalus doing a you know, doing kind of what it was expected to do this matchup and puts a lot of good pressure, and you know, we get a really, really good lead out of it there. Let's see, he's just gonna like to go for the roost, okay? So, I think at this point, um, if I look, so obviously, rocks are gonna be really good. Oh, I don't have rocks in this thing, duh. Um, okay, so what is kind of the likely scenario here? I can see him going into something like Grim Snarl to so take advantage of that. He could go into something like the Chi Yu to take advantage of this. Uh, obviously, I think he doesn't probably want to take a T Wave. I could just yawn. Yawn is not like the worst thing in the world. Obviously, you know, putting a yawn on something like Annihilate is, you know, you know, if he brings an Annihilate, then I think we're perfectly okay with that, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'm just going to elect a U turn. I think U turn, I don't think there's any reason for him to stay in. Yeah, and he elects to switch out. So <sighs> there's a few different options. Yeah, and he's just going to go back into this, and this is going to give me another free knockoff potentially here, or another free attack. 
Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to get a free knockoff on this, unfortunately. But I am going to be able to keep up the pressure with the Dark Pulse here. I could elect to go into something like Volcarona. Now, Volcarona just doesn't make a lot of sense here. I can go... The problem is I don't have Shadow Ball, so I can't really go into this. So I think I'm just going to go into Iron Juggalist again and, and, and pressure this out. It's probably my best play here. I think there's a chance that it could live this Dark Pulse. Um, which might, you know, make him elect to stay in and attack. Uh, but I would like to actually knock off the item on that Zapdos that comes in. And, and if this is kind of the play pattern we're going for, I think he probably will recognize at this point that the Calc is probably in my favor. Uh, so I'm just going to click knock off. This is one of my <laughs> big complaints about knock off in general in this game is that it's, it's really, there's basically no counterplay <laughs> to it, unfortunately. At, at this point, there's really not much that that John can really, you know, accomplish here in this spot. I mean, he can stay and take, like, a bunch of damage. You know, I, I mean, I clicked Dark Pulse in this situation last time. I don't think he wants to necessarily lose this, and if he switches out, he's going to gain all his health back. I can see him being aggressive here. You know, of course, it's you know, certainly a possibility, but, uh, yeah, he's just going to withdraw. That is, you know, the smart play here. So I'm going to have to avoid a static here, um, which is kind of important. A little bit unfortunate that we have to choose to... Oh, he's pressure. Oh. Make him use up all his moves after his pressure. Okay, so that's actually perfect now. Is he's going to lose his heavy duty boots. So that's actually like everything that we could have ever wanted in that, that situation. And so now we've you know, knocked off two items. We can go right back into this thing. We're kind of, you know, keeping up here in the mid game. So I'm going to like to switch out here. Go right back into this. I'm, I'm expecting a bolt switch here. Bolt switch is kind of obvious. He's going to go and set up a light screen, which is interesting question is, is what does light screen mean uh, over the course of this battle? Um, it's likely that he might be trying to use this as an Iolite setup, like use this to get an Iolite setup, which would be kind of good if that's what he's choosing to do, because my Uxie can actually, you know, handle that really effectively. Um, I'm gonna, I think what I want to do here is actually, I think there's a decent chance that I'm actually faster than this. I think there's like, like a small chance that I'm faster than this. I'm just gonna click I'm going to click Yawn here, I think. I think Yawn is just probably the, the best move. I actually am faster. Wow. That would actually have been very, very useful to to go for... What is it called there? I'm going to get paired here, unfortunately. I could have gone for the Encore there. Yeah. Should have thought about that play just a little bit more. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out for me too much. Obviously, I can take these, these hits. But uh, unfortunately, now this is a little bit neutralized against the... The Annihilate, so Annihilate is going to be a lot bigger of an issue in this battle than I expected. I'm expecting him to switch out here. Um, the the problem is, is he can go directly into Annihilate in this spot, and I really, really don't want. So there's there's a few things here. He can go directly into Annihilate, which is obviously a problem. I can Mystical Power to do damage to it, and then Encore on a setup turn. He could stand and let this fall asleep. If I U-turn, I just give him a Rage Fist boost for no reason. Uh, without getting him getting really any damage, so and this is <laughs> this is kind of an awkward spot. I really wish I encored there; would have made this turn you know infinitely easier. Man, <sighs> it's not really a great. I'm going to yawn again. I think he's probably going to switch out here, and I would like to get this yawn off done something. He is going to withdraw. Okay, perfect. It's actually going to be really. That's actually a really good prediction for me. He's going to go into Rinky Dinky, so it's not the Annihilate, but it's this thing. Okay, and I get Paradolitis anyway. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Uh, well, who could have asked for anything different? Luckily for me in this spot, I do have Diancy, and Diancy is a really effective switch into this. So I'm not... Once again, I, I, I'm really not... I'm really just concerned about losing to Annihilate now after getting parried. Is, is making this... I don't feel like an inevitable loss, but is, is making me start to get a little nervous about this. And, and luckily we do have boots, so that's not going to be too much of an issue. That's going to do like 3. Alright, that did about like 70%, or 70 HP, so that's perfectly fine. I could get up a Spikes here, start to get my Hazards going. Uh, his team is not like the, the strongest against Hazards. Um, obviously, Sloking Galar is gonna, you know, feel the pain of these Hazards pretty soon. What is his most likely switch into this, is the question. Probably Sloking Galar. I could just get really aggressive and, and go for some attacks here, but I'm just gonna set up a Spike. I, I don't think there's really anything, like, there's just... Kind of no reason for me to do anything else, and I could just set up a spike here, put some pressure on his team hazard-wise, mainly the Sloking Galar, and he's just going to withdraw, yeah. But I could also put pressure on something like Chi Yu specifically. Send out Dumb, what is this? The Bramble Ghast, okay. So this is going to be his spinner, it does have Power Whip and the like, so that's something that we're going to have to worry about, and that has worn off the... 
what is it called? The, uh, oh my god, the, the light screen, which is actually pretty good. Because what this allows me to do is go really aggressively into my iron juggalus here now. Does this thing get anything that would really punish me making that play? Not particularly, actually. I think this is kind of a free-ish play. You know, he obviously, you know, rapid spin here, and if he rapid spins, that's perfectly fine. But I'm kind of at this point, you know, want to get, you know, continue to maintain, you know, a really aggressive posture in this match. As he's just going to rapid spin. I'm going to take a little bit of damage. He's going to get a little bit of a speed boost. He's at 90 speed, um, which, you know, could mean that this outspeeds. There's like a, a potential chance here. He actually does outspeed me. Um, he'd have to be invested into speed to outspeed me here. So I think at this point I'm just going to... I can't knock off because he's just going to go Zapdos again. I guess the question is, yeah, I, once again, I don't really care if he outspeeds and attacks me here. So I'm, I'm kind of just content to to keep throwing up, to throw up a Dark Pulse here and do some damage. If he does want to, you know, trade damage off on this, then by all means I'm perfectly okay with that. But I think we're kind of settling in here, here for a little bit of a longer game. Because he's going to go right into Chiyu. Really good aggressive play by my opponent there. But I do have the Diancy, which means I'm not like too bothered by this, I did like 3 damage. That's unfortunate, yeah. Maybe knockoff could have been like a little bit obvious there. That's like a play I could have taken. I could have obviously, you know, attacked that as well. That is something to consider as well. But if he is something like Choice Scarf, obviously I don't want to take a, you know, a million damage here. And he's going to go for Ruination. And that's going to do half, okay. So he, he was kind of prepared for this situation with this specific Pokemon. So I think I'm probably going to have to lose this. He's not going to actually be able to kill me, which is actually pretty interesting here. He has to be, if he's modest, Choice Scarf, like if he's a modest set here, he actually doesn't kill me kind of in any situation. So I think I think my best play is just the Diamond Storm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to like to Diamond Storm here. I don't think he can actually kill me. Yeah, I think he realizes that here. That is a good thing to note that he's not Choice Scarf though, or he's likely not Choice Scarf here. And yeah, I'm just going to hit this with the Diamond Storm. That does a good amount of damage actually. So, his power up's probably going to do a lot here. This Moonblast actually has, against, you know, really, really fast Bramblegast, like a decent chance to kill. Um, I would have to, to sack this off, though, which would be a little bit unfortunate to go for this. Um, I think the, the last time I went pretty aggressively into the Iron Juggalus, and I think at this point we're starting to weaken his team a decent amount. We're starting to figure out what's going on. And without really reliable recovery on this, I think I'm just going to Moonblast and try to do damage. The problem is that this is faster, and it's going to kill me anyway. Um, I could just go Iron Hands. I don't want to take a lot of damage on that just yet. I could go into Volcarona. I don't want to take damage on that right now either. I think as this gets to a KO'd, I'm just going to Moonblast here. I, I mean, it might not be the, the best move. Wow, he's going to double here. Okay. That was not exactly what I was predicting. And yeah, he's going to eat a Moonblast here, which is actually pretty huge for me. I'm kind of curious as to why he's not static. Probably, you know, set up, you know, prevent setup fodder and stuff. And that special attack drop is going to be massive here for this turn to get that. So now that he, he is at, at lower attack, I can actually just... The question here is what would they... What does he want to switch into here? Obviously, I can take any hit. If you go into Sloking Galar, I think I, I don't really mind if he goes that. Because I can go straight into... I can, you know, if I, I can't really Earth Power here, that obviously wouldn't make a lot of sense. He's probably going to Roost. I'm just going to Moonblast here. I think Moonblast is my safest play. And yeah, and he's just going to Roost. I could have Earth Powered here, actually, knowing that that was a safe play from him to go for, considering that also covers the Sloking Galar. And I, I kind of think I want to do that again here. I, I want to actually Earth Power on this specific turn to protect against that. And I think I'm going to do that. I think, I think he's probably going to Roost again, is my most likely my most likely thought. If he goes into Sloking Galar, then that also picks that, you know, puts a good amount of damage on that, which is important here. Yeah, he's just gonna roost. Okay, perfect. The fact that we click this move in his face is probably gonna give him... Oh, that did fuck all. <laughs> that did, like, actually nothing anyway. Okay, so the question here is, like, we can just keep pressuring this thing's roost, honestly. I'm just gonna Moonblast again. Um, he might use the Earth Power to, to go into something. Or he might take this as a turn to attack. I'm just going to... I, mean, I could Diamond Storm here, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to like to Diamond Storm. Actually, in this spot. Now that I put that move into his head, I think that's a good time to click Diamond Storm. He could use this as an opportunity to switch into Annihilate. That'd be a pretty crazy play. If he... I, I don't think he... I don't think he has... It, I, I wouldn't say I don't think he has it in him to make that move, but I don't think he has the opportunity to make a move like that at this spot. I don't think we've afforded him the luxury to do that. And that is a big kill here. 
for Diancie on Zapdos. He's kind of worked that perfectly in that situation to pick up a KO on a problematic switch in for this team. Now the question is, is what does he bring in? And it's probably Chiyu, would be my guess. Chiyu is a little bit of a problem here, but with Zapdos gone, you know, our good friend, <laughs> our good friend Iron Juggles is starting to look pretty nice here. Now we don't really switch into Grim Snarlwell at all right now, so that is something we have to be, you know, a little bit mindful of, of course, but he's lost his screen center, which is important. Lost his screen center, which is important. All right, and he brings this out, okay. So I think the likelihood is that he probably tries to attack this thing. He probably tries to set up. So he's gonna be Terra. Uh, the problem is I got paralyzed, which makes this turn infinitely worse. Um, I think my play, because I, I got burned, is to go directly into this and click Whirlwind. I, I think it has to be my play here, uh, because I got paralyzed. I, I don't really think I have another option. This is kind of what we, we, pre we prepared for in this specific instance, was to come in a Whirlwind here, and the fact that I'm going to get poisoned is kind of rough, and the fact that I got parried is also kind of rough, but, you know... We have to make the we have to make this play. There's there's kind of no other option, and it looks like he's going to elect a Terra, so that's good. Let's see what type of Terra it is, whether it's Fairy or Water. I don't expect Fairy. Yeah, Fairy. You could probably Terra Blast here. So there's obviously really no situation where this thing kills. So I'm just gonna click roll and There's like nothing, obviously that's gonna prevent you know. Something that he can really do about this. He can attack if he wants, but yeah, he's just gonna bulk him on my facing. He's gonna get yeeted out of here. No way that I'm gonna let this thing set up in my face and crisis averted for right now. Uh, so we know that this is bulk up, probably Rage Fist, and we get we get to remove it. We get to remove it without um, making it take a hit, which is pretty crucial. In comes this. Okay, I don't want to take any more poison damage off this than I have to, of course. Um, I could obviously Earthquake this. It doesn't kill. I would have considered this, you know, an option if it killed, but because it doesn't, I, I don't think that's really a realistic play that I have. I can go right back into this. So it's probably Bulk of Rage Fist Rest of some variety. Um, I think that's very is kind of a problem, but I can Terra Blast plus Overheat on that now, actually, and kill it with um, this thing. So I'm just going to go into my, my Uxie here. It would be interesting if he goes right back into Annihilate and tries to set up again. He might think that's a win condition for him. He's just gonna Ice Beam, okay. He, so he's he's trying to catch my my Iron Hands there, which actually makes a lot of sense to do. But it's a pretty pretty likely situation. So now Mystical Power isn't really a useful move in this game. I can U-turn. I kind of just want to Yawn again. Yawn is actually pretty good against a lot of his team. Um, I don't, I, I could U-turn here, I actually don't think it's in his best interest to go into Annihilate in this spot. I think there's like a lot of things that can go wrong if, uh, he does that, so I, I just gonna U-turn here. Like, I don't think he's gonna want to take any sort of craziness from this. Especially with Yawn, it's gonna put him in potentially an awkward spot unless he's exactly Rest Talk, and if he's exactly Rest Talk, um, then that could open himself up to some Iron Juggalist turns. Maybe U-turn was risky. Okay, yeah, he does elect to not go into that. He's just going to go into the Bramble Gas, which is going to give me a free, free maneuver here into my good friend Iron Juggalus, and it's time to get crazy. It's time to get crazy with it. The question is now, so I can bring, th I can actually bring this out, which is kind of an interesting thought. I could bring this out. Obviously, Overheat is going to do a lot of damage. If, he, if I bring this out, he's, he's certainly going to go into the, uh, what's it called? I kind of just want to bring the... I'm going to bring out this, actually. I'm going to bring out the Dragapult. And the reason I want to bring out Dragapult is because, you know, it has to be obviously Scarf to do anything crazy here. But even then, that's not going to matter too much. But I really just want to click Will-O-Wisp, and then that opens up Hex turns, actually, here uh, pretty quickly. And not a lot of things want to take this. I could U-turn as well. I think Chiyu is, like, pretty, you know, potentially aggressive play here. I mean, does he have it? I don't want to say does he have it in him to, to go into Chiyu here. Uh, but it would make a lot of sense to go into Chiyu, and I actually don't think it would. That might be obviously not... Rinky Dinky. Yeah, maybe he did go into it here. No, he went into something else. Yeah, he, got, he went into this. Okay. And will us once again. We're going to pick up a little bit of damage here. That is nice. Nice to see. So the question is here. I could just U-turn here. I'm just going to U-turn just to, to prioritize as much damage as possible. I'm going to start making my moves a little quicker here. I've been going pretty... <laughs> I've been going pretty deliberate through these turns. So I do want to kind of 
to, to make this go by a little bit faster here, just for my opponent's sake. The burn here is going to be actually pretty decent. This could just be like some random goofy set. He could try to parting shot as well, so I'm actually going to U-turn off here into the Diancy. That's going to do a decent amount, so that's probably physically defensive, actually, looking at that damage. So that's good to see that, and because of the, the parting shot threat, I'm actually just going to go into this. If I, if I lo lose this, I lose this. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to have to take that, that L uh, here on this, but um, he's just going to go for the Spirit Break, yeah. That's going to do it. Oh, that crit's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, well, with the crit, do I, I mean, I could randomly live this next one. Question, yeah, that's, uh, the crit is actually going to mean I can't attack here, which is kind of unfortunate. A little bit frustrated about that, but it is what it is. We can't really complain too much. I think we've been pretty fortunate throughout this season already. Uh, I think at this point, I'm just going to click the Moonblast. I'm always, like, really scared of Annihilate, just, like, randomly, like, trying to switch in here and, like, be really aggressive. Um, it's a pretty decent anti die. Yeah, uh, that's that's kind of unfortunate. I would have had a chance to get a KO on this thing with Diancy. And we are going to lose the Diancy as a result of this, unfortunately. Uh, the question here is, what do we want to... What is our next option? We don't really have a great one. I could just bring out Volcarona. This thing is at, like, a decent amount. I could Volcarona. I think he's going to be pretty scared of Terra Fairy if I bring this out. He's going to go into something like... The Slow King Galar, which means I kind of do want to, I kind of, I'm actually going to bring this thing in here and, and see what he wants to do. I do have U-Turn here, and I do, like, I think it's, I mean, this is telegraphing Terra Blast, Terra Fairy pretty effectively here. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have the requisite damage on the Slow King Galar. He's going to T-Wave. Oh, I should have, I should have realized that this was going to be T-Wave. And it was, like, a little bit obvious. Yeah. Now, now I'm not like I'm not really playing this game efficiently at all. He's Rocky Helmet too. Yeah, I'm starting to, to to lose a little bit here, just like making obvious incorrect plays. Unfortunately, just kind of the nature of Pokemon. You can't play every game perfectly, uh, and these powers are really going to start to to cook me here in a minute. Question is now is what do I do? So I think my play again. Ugh, the problem is now is that this this in my life is, is so problematic against my team, and then the way that I played this. I really needed... Yeah, okay, let's focus up here. I'm just going to bring this out. I think it's like pretty pretty obvious, I think, what's going to happen here. So, okay, so he's going to burn. I clicked U-turn like every time that I brought this Pokemon in. He went Chi Yu last time. Question is, do I Earth Power predicting Chi Yu? Um, how worth it is that? I think I think it's pretty obvious Chi Yu's going to come in, and I think he's going to want to keep the pressure up. I don't think he's going to bring Annihilate in here. Like, I think it would be kind of risky for him to do that. Like, it, like it's pr it could just be pretty obvious that I have Flash Cannon here, uh, and, and that's kind of what I elect to do here, so I'm just, I'm just going to choose to Earth Power here. I, 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 th I think he's just going to Thunder Wave again. He's going to rest, okay. Yeah, and yeah, now I'm just going to get walled by this thing, which is like kind of annoying. So he's rest, T-Wave, he's going to get a Spit F drop. Um, I'm going to actually be able to pick this up. If I Hurricane here, there's like a decent chance I get this. I apologize for the toxic. In the background there. Certainly enjoying their evening right now. Minus one spit off. Like, there's like a decent chance that this kills based on the, the set that it was. Um, well, no, this it's not really actually a decent chance at all that this kills based on the set that it was. And if I Earth Power, I think he's pretty likely just going to go into the, what was it called, the Annihilate. So I'm just going to try to Hurricane. If I get a Confusion, I get a Confusion. That's pretty dope. But, alas, uh, I've just, yeah, I've not played this game confidently at all. Unfortunately. He's gonna bring this out, okay. Well, that, this is thing is just gonna catch a hurricane. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, Iron Dragon is just gonna pick this one up, so... Once again, this, this does put me in that awkward position against Annihilate, which, I mean, there's not much I can do. He's just gonna bring Annihilate and try to sell. He's not going to. Oh, he's gonna bring this thing out. Oh, this bastard Pokemon. Alright, so it's pretty obviously fire move is coming out here. Problem is, oh, so the thing is I outspeed this. Okay, so here's, here. alright, so I think I've, I've, I think I have a way to win this, I think. So if I, if I switch into XC here, um, I can go into my, what's it called? And he's choice. The way he's bringing this in, it has to be choice. I think he knows that this would be faster and just like deal a million damage. Like unless this is like Shookaberry, which, you know, it's possible, but I don't think we have to play around that just yet. 
So I'm gonna bring this in. Unfortunately, I think I do have to sack this, which kind of blows, but it is what it is. Yeah, like I'm, I'm only doing like 70% and it'd be just fire blast or flamethrowers, like I'm just gonna die here. So I can just bring this in and sack it. Yeah, he's just gonna click fire blast. Wow, that miss is really, really tough there. That's actually really, really brutal. Obviously, if I stay, I mean, I don't know if I stay in that he's going to miss, of course. And the fact that he fire blasted here, I mean, he is, you know, a little, he's getting in range a little bit. Um, but if he's, the way that he's bringing in is choice, which makes it pretty decent for kind of end game ish um, Dragapult situations. I could choose U turn here, man. U turn is just not a good, U turn is just a bad click almost every time here, unfortunately, because of that um, Annihilate. I think he's just going to attack. I'd, I'd really like to know if this is choice, actually. That would be kind of interesting to know. So I'm just going to yawn here. All right, so this thing is like a million percent choice scar. I'm going to go into Grim Snarl. I was going to go into Pants 2, which is the the Sloking Galar. Uh, but this yawn is going to be pretty crucial on this, which means she has to switch out now um, or let this thing get sleeped. I think this would be an opportunity to U-turn here. I think he could get a grass. I, I don't think he goes on Eyelip here. I, I mean, especially you know, the fact that I could just U-turn here. This wouldn't make sense for him to go on Eyelip. Um, so I'm just going to click U-turn. He could go Annihilate. I mean, that's like certainly possible. He hasn't made that move all game. He does go Annihilate. That's kind of annoying. I actually would kind of like to get paired here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that is actually kind of funny that I get paired in this spot. Actually, like, pretty pretty decent that I get paired there. And the parrot is actually, like, kind of, like, decent here. And then I am slower, so he's going to try to probably bulk up on my face, and I can just Encore him here. So let's see what he likes to do. So this this leads me to believe he's rest talk with Rage Fist. The fact that he's probably would probably allow this to get yawned again. So I think he's just gonna I think he's just gonna bulk up here. He's just gonna withdraw. Okay, so he's gonna scout this actually. That's actually pretty important. That's a good scout. And yeah, because of the fact that this thing is so friggin' annoying, that's a good scout on his part. Ooh, alright, good move. John Jr. is making moves here. Question here now is what do I do? I think I just U-turn on this, honestly. I, I mean, he can go. I don't think he's going to go back into the Annihilate here after he scouted it. I don't think he... I think he recognizes that this, that this is not a setup opportunity here. And he's going to be fast asleep. So, is this Rest Talk? That'd be nice to know. He is Rest Talk. Okay. And my special attack's going to fall. We don't really care about that. Let me get a U-turn off here. All right, perfect. So... I think, I think a good opportunity here is just actually to go, kind of just click Overheat. It would actually be kind of like a good move here in this spot. Overheat's doing like a decent amount. I could like Terra Water. So I could Terra Water. No. I actually kind of like the idea of U-Turn. So he's got one Sleep turned down. Obviously I really risk getting Parrot on this. I can't go into that. that that's just, just not a viable play at this point in time in this game. So I think I'm just going to bring in my Volcarona, and just U-turn off of this and go into something, and just like attack this thing twice. Overheat does have like a decent chance to, to kill this, um, which makes me kind of curious to click it. Um, I could go and U-turn into something else, but I, I kind of just want to overheat. I think it would be nice if he like tries to get aggressive and go into Chiyu or something. If he gets aggressive and go into Chiyu, then that actually opens up Dragapult on Chiyu, and he goes into this. Okay. And I missed the overheat, which is actually like kind of convenient in this <laughs> instance. But I don't get the drop, but once again, I mean, I just have to keep going into this. This game's going to take a while. So he's just going to elect to attack this thing. We we still have yet to hit the, the Annihilate here, which is actually like God, amazing how that has happened. But the question here is how do I win this game? Like, like, what is my win condition against these four Pokemon? I think I just U-turn here. I think the fact that he knows... I'm just going to U-turn. Man, this is just tough. I, I, I'm i trying to find, like, a sequence of turns to, to actually go about to, to get this. And he's just going to go into this. The fact that I've U-turned out is... Wow. I, I mean, like, there's just not... Like, what am I doing here? Like, it feels like every para I've either needed or not gotten has been, like, insane in this game. And the question here is, I, I mean, I'm just going to click Encore again. I mean, there's, I mean, that, that's just kind of my play. That's me or my only option right now. I obviously, I could just go into, and the fact that I've Encore, now I can actually just go into Iron Hands here because of this. Obviously, like, I've lost a lot of health on this Uxie, but this Uxie has done, like, an insane amount of work getting me through this match. 
right now. So let's just go right into Iron Hands. It's just the, the evident play the entire time. There's just really nothing else that I have <laughs> as an option at this point. And he's going to withdraw. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What is he going to? I'd like him to go into Grim Snarl here. To yummy. He goes and bring this bastard Pokemon. Which is kind of annoying. Damn, this is this is a really, really brutal position. The Surf, it, the problem is it's not in range of Surf. And this Pokemon is now in range of Fire Blast. So I can't really stay in and click Earthquake on this thing. I don't really have a switch into it anymore. I could just sack this off. Go into Dragapult and U-turn on it. I could like just bait it that way. I mean, I think that's what I have to do. I, I do have to preserve this. Yeah, I, I think we're going to eventually lose this Annihilate endgame, unfortunately. Annihilate Piss Chiyu is just such a... That is... A... I don't know if I agree with that play, because I think it... I could have been a set that Earthquake's there. Like, it's entirely possible. I'm like a super spit F set, and I just Earthquake. And you, like, let this thing take a million damage. And now I get just like a little... I, I get to get health back on this thing, which is like... Kind of frustrating for you, actually, now that I think about it. I can U-turn again. Alright, I actually have to figure out now a way to kill this Annihilate, because I need to figure out a way to not just, like, lose all of my health immediately on this thing. Problem is, Mystical Power is not doing anything. Wait, how do I turn this off? Okay, oh my god, I almost terrestrialized my freaking Uxie. That would have been so annoying. <laughs> I would not have liked to have lost like that. I was going to U-turn again. I mean, if he goes into Chi, like, Annihilate, then I mean... It's kind of whatever, like, there's just not much I can do. Like, I finally get this U-turn off, and it's going to get the Rage Fist boost, which is, like, brutal, but I'm kind of at a point now where ugh, I don't really have much. I don't really have much going for me. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go into this again still. There's, there's just not much else I can do about this. I mean, he can just Rage Fist. He's leftovers. Okay, so that's good. We know the item. The question here now, what are what are the counts on this? We're really not at a point where I mean if he atta if he starts attacking this, then he's gonna like quickly get himself into a position where this thing just gets revenge killed, but he, he does have rest, so that obviously he's never gonna come up, so I'm just gonna whirlwind here again. I'm gonna whirlwind. He's gonna protect what? What is Okay, so he's probably bulk up rest, rage fist. If the friggin' Chiyu comes out here, then I'm just gonna be on for <laughs> I'm just gonna be so sad. Oh my god. Ugh, this is just kind of a nothing going right situation for me right now. I kind of, I can't let this thing die though. Like, I obviously just can't let this thing die. That would just make no sense for me to do. I think I'm, I think what I have to go for is a Terra Water plus Overheat on the, I think that's kind of what I have to do. Okay, so I have to sack this, I think. If, if I sack this, I can bring in the Volcarona. Actually, wait, hold on. Wait, does this... Okay, the fact... Oh, wait, how much does Dragapult take from this now? Unless he's, like, been a mastermind at hiding this all game. Unless he's, he's actually been a god at protecting the information on this not being Choice Scarf all game. And has lured me into this. Like, that's just... I mean, if he does that, he's the goat for that. Like, that's just insane gameplay. And, I mean, he played that, like, extremely well. I kind of just want to bring this in, because this obviously... Like, with... Surf should scare it out. And I kind of just want to... I kind of want to Surf. Probably say, you know, I mean, this set, obviously, with Draco, is probably going to kill, and he's probably going to go Grim Snarl to protect against this. Yeah, okay, perfect. If he goes... Oh, he can go Annihilate to protect against this, but he won't want to get burned here in this fight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this was kind of the obvious option to, to bring back out here. Okay. So the question here is, I think I have to take a T-Wave. I think I have to risk a T-Wave. I don't think I really have another option at this point. I think he has one more sleep turn here. Like, at this point, I just can't let him rest. I have to just hurricane. Like, n nothing else is going to be logical at this point to, to get this game done. Like, nothing, I, I just don't have another logical play in this in this specific instance. He's just going to withdraw. Yeah, I think he realizes that. You can go into Pants 2. Okay. Well, this is actually kind of good for me, because it's going to take a decent amount of damage from Hurricane. Wow, that actually did... Oh, my God, another crit. <laughs> These crits are, are really starting to add up. Uh, in this spot. I, I think it's pretty obvious he can't stay in here. Like, even if he Ice Beams, like, obviously it's not killing uh, in this spot. Like, Ice Beams not killing in this spot. Like, I think it's obvious, like, that that's just not a play. 
that I think he can realistically go for. It's on Assault Fest. It could be something insane. I, I mean, I, I kind of just Earth Power here. I, I mean, that's just kind of my play. I, I, I don't really have another option here. That's going to be really unfortunate. I do let this, though. Unless, I mean, if he frees me, he freezes me. It, it's kind of brutal, but okay. Perfect. That worked out how we want. Question here is now what do we do? I think we knock off. And the reason that I like knockoff here is I really want to protect against the, the Chiyu switch in here. Um, and if he goes Annihilate, he loses leftovers. I mean, that Rage Fist is doing a million anyway, so I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I can knock off and then Hurricane, and I, I kind of have to accept my fate on that situation here, so I'm just going to knock off here. Yep, and I'm going to claim this Pokemon here. So this Pokemon is now down, and now he's got three Pokemon left. Annihilate comes in. Yummy. Okay, this comes in. What utility does this Iron Juggalus have at this point? Probably not a lot. Does he see this as an opportunity to get like randomly aggressive here? Well, the thing is if I sack this, then the Volcarona play that I was talking about earlier opens up, which is actually kind of crucial here. Question is, is what do I what do I click against this if he tries to get aggressive? I can go for knockoff. Knockoff is pretty pretty big. I can go for Earth Power. Earth Power does more damage to well, I think knockoff actually is gonna technically do more damage in the aggregate against Oh my god, this is- it's not Choice Scarf. What? What the hell is this? Oh, it's a Salt Vest. Oh my goodness, wow, that- Okay. Well, I'm really glad I went for Knockoff then in that spot. That's actually- it's actually pretty big for me, because that opens up- that actually opens up this endgame pretty effectively here for Volcarona to Terra Water, Terra Blast, and then Overheat the Annihilate. Yeah, I'm just gonna Terra Blast here. I think it's my only real play. The fact that I had to reveal Overheat as well is a little bit unfortunate. All right, Terra Water time. Let's get it. He's probably gonna elect to, to Dark Pulse here, would be my guess. Oh, Snarl, okay, that makes sense. Lower my special attack. All right, that's actually gonna do a decent amount of damage, but he can just Dark Pulse here. I mean, I, do I have another play? What was my play here against Dark Pulse? Not really much. I think I, then I have to U-turn. I kinda just wanna Terra Blast. I mean, I'm just gonna Terra Blast again. I, I don't really have another option. I could U-turn out here into my Iron Hands. I mean, if he goes into Annihilate, then this opens up the Terra Blast plus Overheat play I was talking about. I think he played, he played, yeah, all right, that's gonna do. It actually does it because of the Snarl though, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to continue to go hard into the Iron Hands. All right, we got the Bruce Vent. This friggin', what's it called from killing me here? I only have the one play, so let's see. Let's see if this works out, let's see how this works out. I can burn. What happens if I burn this Annihilate? Okay, so good news here. Oh, it, the problem is, is I think this thing kills now. Yeah, it does. At this exact range of HP. He doesn't necessarily know that though, and he might be scared of it. I mean, he is attacking anyway, so there's not really much that I can do about this. Do I outspeed? I don't even outspeed here is the problem. So I'm just gonna whirlwind here. Yeah, he's just gonna Rage Fist. Yeah, and then he's gonna take some Rocky Helmet damage. So how do we how do we open up a win con here? So I think the way that I win this game. Uh, the problem is even if he's burned, he's gonna kill me. Well, he actually has a pretty bad chance of killing me here. Through the burn. So I think what he has to do here. No, I, I think we lose this game anyway, unfortunately. Not really much that I can do about this specific spot. Well, I'm just gonna willow and see what happens. I could get like really lucky and get a crit or something here. He's just gonna kill. I think that was pretty much, unless he had like attack investment was a max roll. Uh, pretty unfortunate game here to lose. Um, to John, so he's gonna make playoffs here, and we're gonna finish like eight seed, which is a little bit ridiculous, you know, given how some of the games have gone. But I think overall, at the end of the day, this was a game that was a really, really tough matchup, 
really, really hard to manage. And getting paralyzed on the, the Uxie early made it really, really difficult to actually like effectively win this game. Um, jump. It is what it is. Good game to John here. So he makes playoffs. We are in the 8th seed, so we're still in playoffs. So we'll be back next week with another game.